Hey guys, welcome to another lesson. And today we'll be looking at analyzing graphs. <laughs> Alright, so we're not drawing the graphs, we're just analyzing certain information about our graphs. Because now we have heightened our level, so we no longer use linear equations to find our graphs. We sometimes have exponential equations, equations to powers that we have to manipulate in order to get a straight line graph, right? So remember, straight line graph always mimics the y equals mx plus c, right? So let's look. So in this case, if we have t equals the square root of l over g, and we need to plot a graph of t, so we need a straight line graph with t and l, right? So we need a straight line graph of t and l. But we know that l now is actually the square root of l. So we need to get rid of the square root to make it become a straight line, right? So that means the square root of l over g is the same as l over g to the power of a half, right? So now we can both go ahead and do what is called log, right? So if we log the left side, log t, we log, we log the right side as well, log l over g to a half power. And if we look here, these are some rules that you'll use regular at this level, right? So if we have divided and we log it, it's the same as minus in the log of both things. So it's the, and also it takes these two, so a to the n power, when we log a, the n actually falls to the front. So the half will fall to the front, and L over G is the same as L minus G, the log of both, right? So in this case, we get this, right? So now we can have log T going on our Y, and we know log X, log G, L, sorry, go on our X axis. So that means if we find the gradient of this graph, then we get, we should get a number that is close to 0 0.5. If it's not that close to 0 0.5, then that means something went wrong, right? So this is just a simple way of showing how to move from a equation that has power to get a linear equation to mimic y equals mx plus c. And in this case, would have c being equal to this value here. Because sometimes you would ask what's the value of g based on your graph. So the c, the y-intercept, would be this, and you make c the subject. All right? So this is basically all you do for any graph once you understand these rules, right? So if it's a times b, and you log in a times b, is the same as log a plus log b, if it's a divided by b, then it's the same as log a minus log b. If it's a to the n power, then it's n log a, because we take down the power. And then ln e, exponential e here. If we anti-log e, we get 1, and log of 1 is 0. All right? So we're going to look at two questions that will help us to understand this. All right, so we're just going to do two questions to help us understand or analyze our graphs. So in this case, we have b equals k r to the n power, right? So the n only goes for the, for the r, right? So we're given this table here, and we were supposed to fill out log v and log r, right? So let's look at the table for a bit, because there are certain things that you need to be aware of. When filling out a table, then we concentrate on the significant figures for each similar quantity, right? So because we're already given R and V, right? And I filled out log V and log R, then V, log V would should mimic the Vs, log R should lim mimics the R. So if we notice for V, three significant figures, right? So that means when we find log V, all our values should be 
three significant figures. And same thing for R. R here is three significant figures. So the values that we get for log R should also be three significant figures. So that's something important. So all significant figures be, should be the same for similar quantities. All right. So now let's look at manipulating that equation to give us a straight line equation. Right? So in this case, the first thing we'll do is to log both sides. So we'll get log B would be equal to log K. And because it's multiplied by R, then we get plus N log R. Right? So if we write this here, So that's what we get, right? So in this case, we plot log b on our y, log r on our x. So therefore, this constant n would be your gradient, and log k would be your y-intercept. So we get y equals mx plus c, right? Hope you understand that. Let's do one more. All right, so let's look at a second one here. And in this case, we have g minus a equals b over m times e to the n power, right? And g here is 9.81. So if you notice, I've left the table here blank because I want you guys to actually do fill out these information here at home. And then you actually give me a comment there to actually tell me what you got for each with the understanding of the previous table that we did, right? So just let's look at getting this equation to get a straight line graph, right? So because they said log g minus a, that means we're not going to split up g minus a, right? So we have log g minus a, right? And that's equal to, we're logging this, so it would be log b, and because it's been divided, then that means it be minus log m, right? And then it's been multiplied, so that means plus, we take down the n log b. So in total, we'll get log g minus a equals log b minus log m plus n log b, right? So in this case, we have this being our y-axis, log b being our x-axis, n would be our gradient, and log b minus log a log m, sorry, would be our y-intercept. So y equals mx plus c, right? So we notice, guys, that whatever the equation is, we should be able, once we remember those rules for logs, that we can get these answers, right? Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please remember, leave your comments here to fill out this table, and see you next time.